Growing up exploring Alaska's ever-changing landscape inspires a lifetime of learning. That's why Alaska 529 is a proud sponsor of the Alaska Sea Life Center and focused on helping families take small steps now for their child's future education. To learn about the Alaska 529 plan, its investment objectives, risks, and costs, carefully read the plan disclosure document available at alaska529plan.com. Alaska 529. Save in Alaska. Study anywhere. Everyone gather round, it's a time of day for Virgin Small Fry School. We can hardly wait. We new ocean friends connect with old pals too. Let's learn about the sea, there's so much to do. La la small fry. La la small fry. La la small fry. La la small fry. Learn and have fun, cool creatures to meet. It's virtual small fry school. Go ahead and grab a seat. Hello friends, welcome back to Virtual Small Fry School here at the Alaska Sea Life Center. My name is Rebecca and I'm so excited that you're here with us today. I want to acknowledge that I live and work on the traditional homeland of the Alutic Sukpiak people whose heritage and culture continue to enrich our communities. And I'm wearing a mask to keep my animal friends and my human friends safe. Today we're learning about an octopus's life cycle. We know that they live three to five years. So let's take a look at how they get there. A life cycle is the stages an animal goes through in its life. A male octopus and a female octopus come together to mate. An octopus's life starts as an egg. Then it hatches and becomes larva. The larva will grow into juvenile and then into adults. As an adult, the octopus will find a mate to have babies with and the life cycle starts all over again. But there is so much more to this life cycle. The male's third arm is a little different than the others because it holds the sperm. They will put the sperm in the female's mantle where it stays until she is ready to lay her eggs. When she is ready, she will take the sperm and fertilize her eggs as she is laying them. Female giant Pacific octopuses can lay between 18,000 to 100,000 eggs. That's a lot of eggs. She takes care of them for six months by taking ocean water and pushing it through the eggs so that they get nutrients. She also protects them from predators such as crabs and sea stars. During this time, she does not leave her den and does not eat. After six months, the eggs hatch and the octopus larvae swim into the open ocean. The female dies shortly after her eggs hatch. The male dies shortly after mating. In the ocean, the octopus larvae eat phytoplankton to grow.
They are still very small, and most of them will get eaten by other animals that filter the water for plankton, such as corals. Sponges and worms. The octopus larva that do survive will grow into juveniles and then into adults. An octopus's life is coming to an end when it is ready to mate. Out of the many eggs laid, two or three octopuses will survive and grow into adults. El Dorado is an adult and is three and a half years old. When El Dorado is ready to mate, she will be released in Resurrection Bay so that she hopefully finds a male octopus and have more octopus babies. This is Agnes, the giant Pacific octopus who lived at the Alaska Sea Life Center before El Dorado. She was released in Resurrection Bay, where she lived the rest of her life. For today's activity, you're going to need the sheet and something to color with. I'm using colored pencils. Choose your favorite color. My favorite color is teal, but I don't see it here, so I'm gonna choose my next favorite color, which is green. We need to help the octopus complete its life cycle. We start where a male octopus and a female octopus find a home to have babies. We have to follow it all the way to where the female lays eggs. Next, the eggs hatch into larvae. Here are the larvae. Let's find the path. If we take this path, we are blocked. But if we take this path, we can get to the larvae. Next, the larvae need to find a safe place to grow. Let's follow the path. Here we are. Color it in. The juveniles will grow into adults and explore the ocean. 
If we take this path, we are blocked. If we take this path, we can make it. help the octopus complete its life cycle. Friends, thank you so much for joining us today. Can we say thank you to the octopus on three? One, two, three. Thank you. And I also want to thank Alaska 529 for their continued support of Small Fry School. Next week, we are live. So if you have any questions or you want to share your pictures, please do so so that we can answer them next week. I'll see you then. Bye.